All right, I will start the tape now. Now we go. And yes, it was right there. Oh, you didn't see it. Okay, let's rewind and watch again. You say nothing's wrong there. I see, hmm, okay, that needs further explanation then. I am so amazed how subtle and clever the Doom community is. They do find every little thing in the game, no matter how small it is. Okay, fair enough, the game is old, so is the engine and the code. Within the 21 years this game is on people's computers, there's a lot of time to discover, especially for the guys with the technical know-how. Just like this goof up in the code I'm talking about. The intro showed footage of Vanilla Doom, but it can still be observed in Skulltech and some other source spots as well. Oh, and ignore that, this weird acid trip texture fuck up is a leftover from a previous experiment of mine. All you need is the boss brain. And yes, it happened again. What am I talking about? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm talking about the explosions. Yes, the explosions of the boss brain and why they are more lopsided to the right side. This is a source pod screenshot, in this case it's Skulltech. The X is the location of the boss brain and thus the epicenter of the explosions. The box stands for the rough locations for possible explosion sprites to appear. It is clearly seen they are not spawning to the end of this box at the left side. However, they tend to appear more on the right side. Vanilla Doom is not different. To the left there is clearly free space, while the right side is covered in explosions. The reason for this is in the code and also in the video title. Let's have a closer look. The mistake lies in the code pointer A Brain Scream. It is responsible for the creation of the explosions. And here's the problem. From the head southern position, explosions are created in a line from X minus 196 to X plus 320. As you can see, this doesn't work and puts the actual epicenter more to the right side. The other part simply means it creates an explosion every 8 map units. On the picture you can clearly see how they are lined up, sometimes exactly above or below other explosions. How to fix this minor problem? Well, that's pretty simple. Just change both values to the same. 320 makes sense because it covers a bigger portion of the boss phase. Where is this goof up coming from? Well, who knows. But that guy probably figured out that 196 does not cover enough of the end boss and changed the number of one of them, leaving the other one the way it was by accident. Whatever the reason might be, thanks for the guys over there at the Z Doom forums for figuring that out. Guys, you rock!